The Washington State Department of Transportation is replacing the vulnerable and aging SR520 floating bridge on Lake Washington. To build this bridge, we need massive concrete bridge pontoons, which are being built in a casting basin in Aberdeen as part of a $367.3 million contract for the pontoon construction project. Once pontoon construction is complete, we float the pontoons from the casting basin and tow them through the ocean to Seattle. Once on Lake Washington, they will be assembled to become the foundation for a new, safer State Route 520 floating bridge. Before we can build new pontoons, Washdot and the contractor, Kiewit General, built a new casting basin in Aberdeen. The four-acre casting basin was completed in winter of 2011 on a 55-acre site in Aberdeen, Washington. With the basin completed, crews shifted into high gear to build pontoons. This basin is big enough for an aircraft carrier, so we can build pontoons six at a time. The casting basin will build three different types of pontoons for the new State Route 520 floating bridge. Longitudinal pontoons are the biggest pontoons ever built in Washington. We're bolting together 21 of these pontoons to form the spine of the new floating bridge. Each one is as long as a football field, three stories tall, and as wide as we could build them and still fit through the Ballard locks. Each one weighs 22 million pounds. That's as much as 23 Boeing 747 jets. The new bridge needs two special cross pontoons to serve as caps to anchor each end of the floating bridge. Smaller supplemental stability pontoons act as water wings for the bridge. We are building 54 to attach to the longitudinal pontoons to keep the bridge stable and strong during winter windstorms. These will help the new bridge remain safe and open to drivers even during sustained 89 mile per hour winds. Once the pontoons are built and ready to go, the next step is to float them out of the basin. As the ocean tides rise, we open little sluice gates, letting the water into the basin. We open the gate once the water level is equal on both sides. This casting basin door is actually three doors stacked up and weighs 150 tons. The tide keeps rising and the pontoons start to float. Once the pontoons are floating in the basin, we use tugboats to tow them one by one into the waters of Grays Harbor. Now that the pontoons are out of the basin, we reset the gate. In order to start building the next cycle of pontoons, we pump out the water and carefully remove any fish that may have entered the basin and return them safely into Grays Harbor. Before being towed into the ocean, the pontoons are docked nearby and inspected to ensure that they're watertight and ready for their trip to Seattle. Once the pontoons are inspected and approved, they're towed around the Olympic Peninsula and on to Lake Washington. Some of them are making stops along the way to get outfitted with additional parts to help them hold up the new highway. Construction of pontoons for the new State Route 520 floating bridge will continue into 2014. For more project information, including the latest news, visit our project website at www.wsdot.wa.gov/projects/sr520bridge.